Hi, my name is Timmy Mai. Welcome back to How We Make It. Today we're going to be talking about how we prepare our ASME cold welding jobs. We have many jobs here that we weld to in accordance to ASME Section 9. Many vacuum chamber companies out there do not weld to ASME codes, but out here we think it's really important. So because we use the ASME Section 9 code, typically makes all of us welders here uh, a lot better. In order for us to prepare for our jobs, we do need to create a procedure qualification record. In this PQR document, it includes a lot of essential factors, such as the type of joint, uh, different types of base metals, and the type of filler rod you will most likely be using. When our welders follow this PQR, it gives us a lot more consistency in our welds because we have a certain type of parameter that we work towards. So once we have the PQR set, we, ha we have to create a WPS, a Welding Procedure Specification. This WPS document that we use here at GMB shows the different types of positions that we use, the, the amount of heat, and the type of voltages that we should be using while we weld. When we follow our WPS standards, we end up doing bend tests here at GMB. And here is an example of one of them. As you can see here, our welder here penetrated all the way from the bottom all the way to the top. And when it passes the bend test, we know that it's an ex a successful weld. The more we follow these WPS standards, the more consistent all of our welders will be here at GMB. And it just makes us all better welders. So when the welder passes their bend test, they are created a welder performance qualification. So the WPQ has all of the actual values of how the welder uh, performed his test. So for the very best vacuum products, please consider GMB. We have the best welding requirements in the industry. 